Hey, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be showing you some awesome points from a match between the Brian Bros, Shop Evolved, and Boopany. This is a really good match. You're going to, what you're going to be learning in this video is you're going to be learning the patterns, the strategies that win points on the doubles court, as well as you're going to learn something I call doubles specialty shots. What I want you to understand is that the pros, they understand. They've been taught by their coach and also through match experience what the winning shots are in a doubles court as far as geometry, court position and also being able to expose their opponent's weaknesses. But once this strategy is learned, what the pros do is they hit the practice court with their coach and they practice these double specialty shots over and over again so that this starts to happen for them on autopilot. That is the secret. They're not out there on the court, you know, really strategizing, drawing up plays on the chalkboard. They already know all those. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see that these points are being played in lightning speed. It's so fast that they don't have time to think about what they're gonna hit. It has to happen on autopilot. I want you to be able to develop these same skills so that you can go out there and become a better doubles player and play the best doubles of your life. That is why I've created a new seven day challenge called the Double Specialty Shot Challenge and I want you to check it out after watching today's video. Also, whether you're watching this video on YouTube or if you are a VIP uh, member of my newsletter, what I want you to understand is that these videos are gonna be up for a limited time, the ones that you're watching today, and I'm gonna be releasing more over the next couple days just like this. If you really enjoyed today's video, which I think you will, make sure you watch it today because once I start this seven day challenge, I'm gonna be taking these videos down and putting it into our challenge library for our members to enjoy. Okay, so let's hit the court because there's lots of action and there's lots to learn. So let's get into our first point. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this video. What we're going to be looking at right here is uh, we're going to be looking at reflexes as a double specialty shot skill, which is huge. Uh, inside pull forehand, which I'll explain, and neutralizing lob. So let's see how this all plays out. Great point. So first of all, one thing right off the bat is I notice tons of serving into the body. That's another double skill. Really be able to serve into the body. A lot of times you'll be able to have your net person be involved here. Now the first return here by Bupany, he does the pull forehand. He's moving off the court, giving the good angle to go right here at the net person. But the negative is, look, this is, this is wide open. Um, but he's pretty fast, so he can close that gap up. But I'm just saying for us, you have to be careful about taking a shot here and going up the line. But he does a pull for him, meaning that he's pulling across his body and he's going down the line. And it's better to hit on the inside to go down the line than the outside, which most recreational players do the opposite. So comes to the net. There's reflex volley right there. Okay. Approach shot. Now, look how smart this is. Most people, they just keep hearing cross-court cross court so they go cross court all the time right but this brian bro i don't know who's who right here at this point but um this brian bro decides hey i'm going to avoid the net person like remember at this level these players are amazing at the net so you got to be careful when you're going to go at the net person he's behind the baseline so now the highest percentage play in rally is to go down the line Notice how all of a sudden Shop Evolved, too, he's more leaning towards the alley because he wants to hit more pull forehands, which is pretty much like hitting a cross-court forehand. See that? So here comes a pull forehand. Notice this Brian Bro moving up, challenging. And they're in this rally. Now, notice Boopany starts to move. A lot of activity. Boopany starts to move. Again, rather than deal with him and try and pass him, right, either down the line or cross court, which would be tough, watch. Just like, okay, you're going to go here. I was going to hit a lob. Okay, so that's a great skill you have to have. This does not be able to hit the ball high, which will, will take care of a lot of stuff actually in a positive way, but to have good placement with it. And just this lob... I mean, we saw lots of great shots. The lob ends up being the shot. That little blooper ends up being the shot that avoids the trouble and ends up winning the point. Okay. 
I'm going to go back and let you watch that in, in just regular speed now so you can see everything you just learned. Okay, so again, reflexes, inside pull four and neutralize the lob. Now I'll be more to you. There you go. Great reflexes. Approach shot. Avoid the net person. Get into this rally. Oh, going to avoid you. Draw the unforced error. Okay, next we're going to go into inside out forehand, the pull forehand, and reflex volley. So you're going to see a lot of these skills. That's why they're double skills that you have to have. You're going to see them repeat themselves over and over again. So here we go. Okay, so, so notice Shapovalov here. He serves. Again, where is he serving? He's serving into that body. Okay. Now, we're going to go inside out forehand. That's another one you got to have. Inside out forehand. <clears throat> Notice Shapovalov shades over, called the servant shade play. He shades over. He's going to go inside out forehand. A lot of these pros stay back now. They go in, they serve in volley, and they also stay back. They serve and stay back, which didn't used to be. And, and so they all have these really, really strong inside-out forehands. But notice right there. You see what happened there? It was a good time to pull the forehand. Okay, so we had, a, we had an inside-out forehand. Now this ball is going to be laying about here. And he goes, okay, I'm going to really challenge the net person. And it's a good opportunity for me to go power at the one-handed backhand. You're going to notice that the pros do this a lot. They really like to challenge that one-handed backhand. Boom. Now he got it. And then the other Brian Bro is right there with amazing reflexes. Amazing reflexes. Into the body, poach. Okay. Into the body, we're going to see a poach. And we're going to see belly on the net strap. So we'll end, we'll end today's video. We have plenty more clips for you in upcoming uh, videos. But I think this is a good one because I want you to really understand that when you're going to poach, you want to be good at poaching. you got to get that belly on the net strap. Okay, so watch this. This will be a great play. If you can do both of these, you'll be if you can have the first serve, which is going into the body, you'll be setting up your – partner look at look at the aggressive net position too this is this is another thing that we're going to work on is getting you more comfortable playing aggressively look how much court is open right here towards the alley now maybe if you're a little bit of a slower player and you're noticing that you're getting beat down the line you might want to cheat a little more here but if you're not getting beat down the line you know even being a slower player it's gonna if you want to be offensive Right? You got to make it mind. Like, do I want to be a defensive doubles player or do I want to be an offensive doubles player? For the most part, you're going to help your team more if you can learn how to be an offensive doubles player, especially if you want to go up to the higher levels. You're going to have to be an offensive doubles player. Okay? So just by standing here, all this Brian Bro has got to do is just move right there to the net strap. Get the belly on the net strap and you got the poach. Going into the body is going to present opportunities. So you get that's another uh, thing we're going to be working on the double specialty shot challenge. It's developing a pinpoint serve where we can go into the body, get it right here to where all of a sudden it gets easier for your partner to do some things up there. Say so boom, belly on the net strap like I talked about. Look how close he is. We might have to watch this a couple times. Bam. Okay. Going short to short there. Okay. You got to get that belly on that strap. So we really practice that move over and over again in the double specialty shot challenge. So that's what I'm trying to show you. It's not just a matter of understanding the strategies. I think a lot of you guys are smart, really smart. And you, and you probably continue to be smart because you continue to buy online courses. You continue to buy strategy courses. So it, you can't hear that enough. But if you're not practicing these things, and that's what I hear a common complaint is, is that no one will practice with me. So you don't develop these skills. We're going to practice together. That's the whole point. And so here we go. Belly on net strap. Bam. Put away. Okay. Happens so fast. Lightning fast. So again, you think this is this is the strategies in the head, but it's all about the practice. If you didn't practice this move over and over again, it doesn't matter how many times you say, you know, 
go and do this. You got to go. You actually got to go do the work. All right. So me just telling you, you got to get your belly on the net strap. That's a disservice to you. You're not going to just automatically do that. You got to practice it over and over and over again. So there was a lot to learn in that video, but the main thing I want you to understand is once you learn the strategy, then you've got to drill in that strategy so that these, these highly executed skills start to happen on autopilot. So you have these skills that you have and you're executing the right shot at the right time. And that's why I've created my first double specialty shot challenge for you. And, and I want you to sign up today. And notice that I said first because as I was making these videos for you, as I was creating the first double specialty shot challenge, I realized that, man, there are so many double specialty shots that you need to learn and master so that they can happen on autopilot and, uh, and that you're not getting overwhelmed. So as I was making, I'm like, you know what, we need to, we need to split these challenges up. So I'm going to be making probably three to five double specialty shot challenges. Because the, key to because the key to success is repetition. It's repetition so you can ingrain a habit so that when you go out there and do a match, you can start to be successful out there. So if you wanna join this challenge, this particular challenge is gonna be $67. Our first double specialty shot challenge is gonna be a one-time payment of $67. If you wanna join all our double specialty shot challenges, remember there's gonna be like three to five plus, get all the seven-day challenges I've done before and after this, I'm putting up a list right now, then you can join our VIP yearly challenge system and it's just $99 a year. Here's another cool thing I think you're gonna love. My number one goal is to become the best personalized instructor on the planet. So what does that mean? It means that I want to bring the videos to life for you. I want you to be so excited about these challenges that you're like jumping out of your skin. These challenges, they have a done with you component if you choose to take advantage of them. So besides getting your daily double specialty shot challenge and also these, these doubles strategy sessions, of breaking down points of the pros, plus we'll be adding some other cool stuff. You can also ask me questions. You can ask me questions through text, audio, or video. And if you choose, you can even take video of yourself out on the court practicing these challenges so that you can get free feedback from me. Now, this is totally not necessary if you're somebody who prefers to do things on your own. If you just wanna watch the video lessons and go out and do the challenge by yourself, you do not have to send me a video or a text or anything to be part of this challenge. But it is a pretty cool option and the members who have tried this way of training, who have tried this platform, tend to agree with me. Uh, hey Pete, just a quick uh, follow up video. I kind of uh, I nearly dropped my phone when I was finishing up the last one, but uh, Again, listen, I wanted to thank you uh, for everything you've done and count on me being there at the next challenge and uh, I hope everything is going well with you. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm in line with everybody else who's been part of this challenge over the last 30 days that we're really grateful to you and I think there has been uh, probably a sense of growing friendship among all those who've been doing this. So listen, take care of yourself, be well, be safe. Uh, look forward to seeing you in 14 days or whenever it is when the next challenge comes up and uh, I'll keep uh, shadow swings going in the meantime. All right, thanks again. And to make this challenge really cool, really special, really stand out, I'm gonna be awarding doubles masters medals. So what does that mean? Every day you're getting a different challenge and if you can go out to the court and successfully complete that challenge and put it on video and send it to me, then you're gonna be awarded a medal. And here is the awesome part. Whoever gets the most medals at the end of the week is going to be our champion. They're gonna be the double specialty shot champion, the doubles master. And what you're gonna be able to do is come out and train with me for two days for free. You're gonna be able to have five hours of training with me, two and a half hours a day. We'll be going to lunch, to dinner. It's gonna be really, really awesome. If you want all these strategy videos like the one you saw today and others coming up and you want to develop the essential double skills designed to enhance your, your poaching skills, your reflex volleys, your half volleys, your serve locations, your touch volleys, your touch lobs, etc. So many cool things coming up. Plus, you can get personal coaching with me, then I want you to sign up right now. And remember, this is 100% risk free because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. You can send me an email to crunchtimecoaching at gmail.com if you're not happy with the challenge, but I know he will be because everybody who does these challenges has a lot of fun.
So again, if you're on YouTube, you can find this link in the description. Go down to the description below and you can click the link to learn more and to sign up. And if you are on my email VIP newsletter, you can basically go below this video and you can learn more about the challenge and find the sign up button. I look forward to being part of this challenge. It's gonna be so fun. I can tell you it's fun because I've been going out doing these drills myself, which you will see on video, and I love it. I have had a great time and I know you will too, so I hope you take advantage of this and we'll see you inside the challenge and we'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, Pete with Crunch Time Coaching. Welcome to the seven day doubles specialty shot challenge. I am really excited for this one because every day we're gonna have a different challenge and you can win a doubles masters medal. That's right, so we're gonna be doing 21 different drills. Might even add a couple bonus drills in there because yesterday somebody gave me a great drill to add. Don, thank you for that. And um, if you put yourself on video, now here's the thing, you can either send it through this video ask or or if you need longer time, you can actually make a YouTube link and still use the video ask to where you, you basically respond by text. You put the YouTube link in the video ask and then I will be able to see if you complete the challenge successfully. If you did, you win a doubles master's medal that I will send to you, okay? Now, whoever ends up with the most doubles master's medal, I might cry because this gift is so good. I thought, what would be the greatest gift and the most fun gift we could probably both have if you were the winner of this uh, prestigious award? How about two days training with me, one-on-one -on -one in Atlanta for five hours, okay? So we'll do two and a half hours a day, right? That's two and a half hours a day. And we will get out on the court. All you gotta take care of is travel and accommodations and I'll be training you for two days. This is a uh, 700 hour gift basically. I'll also take you out to lunch. We'll be having a great time. So that's whoever gets the most medals and we'll do it at your time, at your convenience, okay? So whenever you're comfortable to travel, you come train with me if you win this. All right, now today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on our chip return. I think that if you really wanna be a doubles master, you gotta have a great chip return because it could do so many things. Whether they're serving and volleying or staying back, it is just as effective. So I wanna set up the first play for us here. The first play is this. We got our server over there, we got our partner on the service line, and we got the net person in front of us. So the first play that we're gonna practice together is actually hitting a short chip. What we wanna do by hitting this short cross court chip is draw our opponent forward so that they are forced to either go up the line, which basically leaves this wide open, or go cross court or lob. They're having to dig it out and they're off the court, which is gonna leave a big open gap right here. This is such a great play. I think everybody should master this. And even if you're playing somebody who serves and volleys, still getting it that low and going off the court is going to give you and your partner a lot of opportunity. Then the next ball is going to go right there. So to do this technique, first of all, we need to be in our continental grip. So you're basically in your shake hands grip. And what you have to get really, really good at, and this is where you might want to take some notes because people do this wrong. I do not want to see you come with a shoulder turn as you get ready to do this. What I want is you see the ball and you get your hands, you just relax your wrist and put those hands out in front and then it's the pace of your running. You make this shot with your legs and not your hands. Your hands basically just stay still and you let the momentum of your legs make this shot. You can add a little bit of cut and you also want to have your strings finish at your target. So I'm gonna demo a couple and I'm gonna set the challenge Challenge, and this will be your first drill, okay? By the way, every skill that I'm gonna show you, you can either use with your basket, your trusty basket of balls, or if you want to use a ball machine, you can also use a ball machine. I'll show you how to do it on both. So this is probably one of my favorite shots to teach students, uh, and it's one of my favorite shots to use in doubles to this day. Even at a 5-0 level, especially if you're playing somebody with a kick serve, this is a great shot you can use. So I'm here, and I wanna get set, and what I wanna practice I want to lead myself out in front and I want to run through it and, and you see what I want to do is you see the cone over there and I want to hit it basically to the right side of that cone